All right, hey, what's up guys, it's Roy here. So today I have the Rinky Onyx case here for the Google Pixel 9. This one though in particular is the magnetic version, which if I flip it over, you'll see what I'm talking about, it has MagSafe built in, which for some of those iPhone users out there that are switching to maybe a Pixel 9, rejoice, you don't have to buy a new charger. But uh, in this video, we'll kind of go over the case and the quality of it, get it installed, tell you what I like and don't like if there's anything, and then uh, kind of go from there. So Rinky was kind enough to send this out for review. So big thank you to them as always for supporting my channel. So uh, with this case here, this is gonna set you back around 19 bucks or so, but it does have Prime shipping. So that's a good positive thing there. I will be sure obviously to link those down in the description for the 9 and 9 Pro. If we look in the interior, we do have that MagSafe built in right there as well. It does have the shock absorption in the corners, which uh, do help act like little tiny airbags. So when you drop the phone case, it does actually help protect it. And even though there is this harder part in here with the magnetic magnets, uh, it does still have some flex to it as well. So let's go ahead and grab the Pixel 9 here. Start with the button side, just push in and voila, that's all she wrote. So very simple install here, guys. And one thing that I've always said about the Rinky cases, especially the Onyx case, is just how good it feels in the hand. Like just holding it, it just feels so slim, but it just doesn't feel like I'm ever gonna drop it. It's got this great texture on the back, this great texture on the sides. It just really does instill confidence when you're holding this phone in this case, because like I said, it just feels super grippy. Uh, but as you can see here on the back, kind of has this like granular pattern type thing here. The uh, camera housing is actually a little bit smoother looking, so it's not as textured, but the lenses are recessed in nicely, the flashes as well. So we're getting some good, good protection there for the camera lenses. Looking at the side, we do have, like I was saying earlier, this just nice grippy texture. It's a little bit different looking as you can see here, it's smoother and then it goes into this. The volume up and down and power buttons are raised as you can see here. And then there is some very minimal rinky branding right there as well. And we do have a little bit of a hump on the corners here as you can see, just a tiny, tiny bit, but it does also house some slits there for lanyards. And then if we look here, we do have the nice cutout there for the uh, USB-C charging port, the speaker, and the microphone. And as you can see here too, I don't know if the angle will help, uh, but it does have a little bit of a ridge kind of poking up here. So I think that also is gonna help with uh, charging protection, but also at the same time protection when you do put it face down. And then when we look at this side, which has absolutely nothing other than this grippy stuff, uh, that is just the look there, very simple. And then at the top, hole punch there for the microphone. That is the angle with this magnetic version. Looks pretty much identical to the regular one. And then if we look at it from a top-down view, you can see that uh, it looks very slim. And it does have a little bit of an extended cutout there for the speaker up there, but just something to kind of point out there. Uh, it does kind of cup over it, and that's supposed to help with sound. Uh, but I've always had a hard time just kind of hearing night and day differences between cases that don't do that. But I can tell that it does kind of cover it a little bit there. So now let's go ahead. Let's do the wobble test like I always like to do on my channel. And there is no shaking going on with that one. And there's no shaking going on with the back down. So definitely no shaking, which a lot of people love. So now let's go ahead and do the clicky button test. So just like the other regular rinky. It's very tactile, so all the buttons are very, 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 very clicky, so passes with two major thumbs up with that. Uh, now let's go ahead and grab my MagSafe charger, slap it on there, and as you can see, it is wirelessly charging, so there is no issues at all with that, and the magnetic strength is very, very strong, like if you notice how it just kind of finds it, and then and it stays on very, very strong, like wiggling it pretty hard and it's just not falling off. So uh, I do very much appreciate that, um, that it, it's a very, very, very strong guys. So if you have a MagSafe charger, you're gonna be happy with that. So, uh, and also guys, it does 
allow you to do Google Pay and all that. There hasn't been any issues at all with any cases so far that I've used. Um, but yeah, you're gonna be able to do that just, just fine. I mean, for the money, for MagSafe, if you have MagSafe accessories in your vehicle or at home, it's worth spending the few extra dollars to be able to get the MagSafe version just simply due to the fact that it just is so much nicer, especially for me to have a lot of MagSafe accessories at home and in my vehicle to just slap it on and then it's charging and I don't have to worry about it falling down. It's just got a very, very, very strong connection there. But uh, all in all guys, if you are in the market for a slim grippy case, the Rinky Onyx for the Pixel 9, even the 9 Pro or 9 Pro XL is going to be a winner. So hit that like button if you liked the video. If you loved it, please subscribe. Ring that notification bell for up-to-date content. So be safe. God bless. I'll see you on the next one.